Hi Stampers, this is Travis. So today for Technique Tuesday, I thought we could just do something kind of interesting with the Stamparatus. So as you're making multiple cards, like at Christmas time, I'm making Christmas cards, um, I have a cool little technique with your Stamparatus that can save you some time, okay? And if you're like me and you have a problem sometimes lining things up, making them straight, cutting the cardstock straight, whatever, this can really help. So let's get started. Okay, so this is your Stamparatus. And the cool thing is, is that um, you can use your cling stamps or your photopolymer stamps with your Stamparatus. So if you're using photopolymer, you do need to use your little foam pad, but today we are using cling stamps, so we don't need that. And then also the Stamparatus comes with the guide, the, it's like grid paper, the little guide, which is awesome. And you can wipe it off. It's clear and it wipes off. So that's cool. So what I have here is just a piece of white cardstock. You want to make sure you keep your magnets separated. They store on the back of your Stamparatus in these spots. And you want to make sure that you keep them separated. If for some reason they do get together and they break, you can buy replacements. Okay. But they, but they are very strong magnets and they will stick together given the chance. So the stamp set that I'm using today is Best Year. This is a stamp set of all greetings and it pretty much covers everything you could use. I mean, it's got Happy Father's Day, it's got a Christmas, a thank you, uh, a hip hip hooray, happy birthday. It's awesome, the stamp set's awesome. Uh, Father, it, this is another Father's Day greeting. You did it, I mean, awesome, right? Hey, hey, hello. Pretty much covers life. So the one that I'm using today is warm wishes for happy Christmas. And the reason is because I'm going to be making a lot of Christmas cards. So what you want to do is you want to lay down your stamp where you want it to stamp. This is my little trick. I'll turn it around so you can see better. Okay. So you're going to lay your stamp down where you want. And then this is a red rubber cling stamp. So I'm going to lay it down like that. Get it even. I'm going to close the plate. So now it's stuck to the plate, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up. I'm gonna, and this is where your spots come in. These are awesome for this. Using your Stamparatus, especially small stamps like this. So you're gonna ink that up. Stamp. If it wasn't, you know, as, as crisp as you wanted, you can just re-ink it, stamp it again because this does not move. How cool is that? Okay, now I'm going to clean that off and I'm going to use my chamois. Clean that stamp off. I hope you're not out of screen. Maybe you are. There you go. Clean that off. Okay, you don't have to remove it from the plate. You just take the plate, lift it up, and go down with it once. Okay, now we're gonna use a different color. I'm gonna use garden green ink it up. So I am going to just stamp a whole bunch of these all in a row. Okay, like that one. I think I'm going to make several of the garden green because that's a popular Christmas cover color, obviously. Pick this up. Now, while it's on here, I mean, you could switch off the cardstock. You could put in vanilla. Oh, here, I'm doing it again. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> now you can see it's uh, it's double. It's almost a little darker from doing it twice. Okay, so now I'm going to lift this up, move it down one, stamp it again. Okay, now I'm going to clean that off. And I'm going to do some in early espresso. Okay, the spots are also great if you just want to highlight one word. So for example, if I just wanted warm in one color, the spots are perfect for that also. Okay, so I'm almost done. Do this one. Heck, I might as well do one more. Move that magnet out of the way. 
I put it over far enough to where I have a little a little gap here in case I want to do a fishtail or any kind of a different it's a little wobbly at the end but I can make it work oops <laughs> there we go it's very wobbly when it gets to the end so let's see if we can make it work I'm not sure if I can very good okay so now the next trick is this Make sure to keep those magnets separated okay so when you have your sheet full of your greetings you just take your paper cutter okay put your paper put it in the paper cutter Turn it the right way so you can see put it in the paper cutter like this okay let's put the arm out because it's a little long Goodness, Travis, making this harder than it needs to be. It's hard working upside down. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so this is your, this is the uh, awesome paper cutter. So this is your cutting blade, the dark one, and this is your scoring blade. They store at the bottom and at the top, so that's awesome. So this is your cutting blade, okay? So now I want to basically go um, it's three-fourths of an inch okay cut okay and now I'm gonna go another three-fourths of an inch cut fourth of an inch okay. so you can keep going and when you're all finished you have all of your greetings pre-stamped and pre-cut. So makes it super easy. And like I said, you can just switch out the cardstock if you wanted to put in some mossy meadow, start stamping on that, you could do that. You could use any kind of ink you want. You could use Versamark and do embossing with it later. It's just makes it super easy for multiple cards. So I hope that helps, and um, that's our little technique for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.